Welcome back to Nerd Dojo. I'm Kyle Ganza. I'm Justin Kirkland. And I'm Alan Richter. And we're going to tell you about some cool stuff that we uh, found out about this week. First thing we're going to jump right into is the PAX East tickets went up on sale. Uh, you'd think it would be on their website, but it was not on their website. Uh, if you were lucky enough to follow them on Twitter, you would know that that was the only way to get them. Uh, so interestingly enough, if you don't follow them on Twitter, you would never know. Uh, I still have not been able to get my tickets yet, but these two guys uh, were able to luck out a little bit, and they're yep. going to tell you a little bit more about luck uh, out a lot. Of well, luck out a lot of it, yeah, because <laughs> I didn't get shit. So well, the three day passes sold out in forty minutes. Yep, which is ridiculous. Because last year they sold out in a week or two, and the year before that I bought mine in January. Which is why I thought I'd be fine like yeah. a day or two later. I'll be like, nah, these guys are like, oh, we got our tickets, you better go get them. And I'm like, I'll be fine. You guys said it was like a week or two. I'm good. Yeah, which is absurd. Absurd. But it's probably because of the new generation consoles coming out. Yeah, yes. that's the big thing. That... A lot of Xbox One, PS4 games will be there, which would be nice. Also, the fact, too, that of how they did the ordering with the the virtual like, the queue, virtual queue yeah. was stupid. Yeah. So they didn't have it on their official website. They didn't have it on their Penny Arcade website or their official PAX East website. The only way you would even know that they were on sale was from their Twitter account, which is ridiculous and stupid. But <laughs> when you clicked on it, went to the, the ticket broker, it then put you in a virtual queue line for to, to buy the tickets. Which was a huge fiasco because the website was not ready for the influx of people. If you were lucky enough to not get a 404 error. True. The, the website wouldn't even load half the time. And people, we have friends that were in queue for 20, 30 minutes, then got 404 error out kicked. of it, got kicked, the website just crashed. And then when they tried to get back into queue, three-day passes were already sold out. Mm -hmm. So that's so. like being in like an actual line and somebody just being like, move! Yep. Yeah. Push you out of line, then you gotta go to the back of the line. Yeah. And someone actually watches you do it and then goes, no, you still got to go in the back. I saw what happened, but... No, you still... That's, that's the way it works, man. Sorry. So, Justin got a three-day pass. Yep. I had to get three one-day passes. And hopefully Kyle will be getting at least a day no, pass. A no-day day pass. pass. Any day pass. I'm going to try to get what I can because hopefully we, you know, we want to bring you uh, some cool stuff for the channel so we can show you a bunch of new things coming out with the new gen consoles and everything and, like... Uh, all the new games that are coming out, new tabletop games, like all sorts of fun yeah, stuff. There'll be a lot of tabletop stuff yeah, there. That's my jam, stuff. so I gotta be there. Yeah. So, so, Nerd Dojo will be there. Hopefully by then we'll have shirts, so try to find us, play yeah, some games it. with us. Absolutely. That kind of stuff. Yep. Oh, quick thing, I want to give a shout out to this dude I sent this, uh, sent the channel to, to a guy on this, uh, forum on Facebook. Charlie in the UK, you're dope. Absolutely, thank you so much. <laughs> when we get shirts made... You're getting one. Yep. Sending you one. Straight to you. Awesome. Um, so the other thing we got to talk about this week, uh, Reboot for Reboot, old uh, 90s cartoon. The best cartoon, in my so opinion. Good. The only cartoon. The only cartoon. Yeah. it's uh, The company has announced that they're doing a reboot of Reboot. Yep. Uh, not much other information besides it's officially announced. There's a teaser image for the new Bob. We'll put that in the link dump. Um Hopefully it's fucking awesome because I'm a huge fan of the other one. I think it's probably going to be cool. I mean, like as long as as long as they stay true to kind of like what they did before, yeah. and they don't try to like bring in too much outside influence, like you know yeah. we were talking about, like you know if they try to bring in new like actual games from outside, it's gonna yeah. Be games. Lame. For those that don't know, in the reboot cartoon, they lived inside of a computer, and the user, which was their god, would play video games which would then a block would come down section off a part of the city and then the people of the city would have to play the game as the NPCs and the AI opponents of the user and then if they beat the user then nothing would happen to them but if they lost it would explode a part of the city people that, people would die mm -hmm. so awesome. hopefully it's more well it's probably not going to be more graphic no like, but it's going to be better graphics it'll yeah. be better graphics but <laughs> it's not going to be it's more not going to be people dead yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and people staying dead it's not going to be some Attack on Titan. Yeah. <laughs> Getting your not head chopped off. It's going to be super violent. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully uh, it's not going to be like, oh, the new Halo 5 Xbox One episode. Oh, in this oh, episode yeah. they fight Master Chief. And oh, this one brought to you by Doritos and... Uh, <laughs> oh, and I don't, uh, Mountain Dew Code don't Red. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, Mountain Dew Code Red and uh, Call of Duty I Ghost can imagine branding and reboot. Oh, It's probably going to happen. 
Hopefully it's they a, hopefully they just do generic oh Doom Shooter Guy episode and yeah. Yeah. zombie level and yeah. big Marvel puzzle level. That'll be really cool. A super monkey ball level, because that'd be so <laughs> funny. Katamari. Katamari, level. Katamari level. That'd be so oh, funny. My God. Um, another thing that's uh, the, another show they're rebooting uh, is the Tomorrow People. The show that I talk about all the time with people, like I'll meet new people and I'll be like, "Hey, how old are you?" Like, you know, try to get a ga- try to get a gauge on who they how like how old they are. And if they're around my age, I'm like, "Do you remember the Tomorrow People?" And generally, they're like, "No." no. Uh, so it was this really cool show about these kids. Well, I thought it was cool. Um, they basically they learn that they can teleport. And they're all, like, kind of, like, rejects. Like, one of the kids, like, gets made fun of, like, all the time. And, uh, like, they all have, like, their little, like, things. And they all, like, learn that they have this power. And they end up teleporting, like, uh, to this island, which is, like, their default where they where they go, like, if they're not able to concentrate right. Instead of getting stuck in limbo, they end up on, like, fucking Lost Island. But uh, Matthew Fox and all those uh, other idiots aren't there yet. So they just <laughs> hang out and figure out how to do stuff so is it like jumper eh, a little bit so it's jumper so but, it's but, awesome, it's, but yeah yeah it's it's, it's, not, jump, it's no sliders it's, it's jumper without <laughs> sliders it's jumper without hayden christensen oh so it's not jumpers well wait so wait hold on do you like hayden? i love jumpers oh, good but God. do you like hayden christensen i don't even remember the, who d- the guy who ruined uh star wars star wars he played the, anakin skywalker yeah. oh the old anakin two yeah. and three. Oh. I don't remember. I just know I love jumpers. <laughs> the idea for it was whatever. Man. Yeah, the idea for it's awesome. <laughs> whatever, man. Te- anything teleporting is awesome. Yeah, like the X Men Two Nightcrawler fight. Oh, yes. so good. So good. Oh, and on that I note, love that scene. There I is a over. Instagram teaser trailer for X Two. Really? I think I linked it to you guys. Maybe not. It's Maybe literally not. seven seconds long. I haven't watched about, it yet, but I saw you. It's about it. Days of Future Past. Shows it's just random jump clips of random things. Not wait. Shows new and old Mystique. Shows Holly Berry a storm just like going, oh, lightning's coming down. Um, all they need to do is put Nightcrawler in it, man. That's all you want. They could do it. That's all you need. They is could Nightcrawler. do it because they have uh, the new, the young Mis- uh, Mystique and the young Magneto. Mm-hmm. It could be them. Oh, baby, Nightcrawler. And then it's going to be in the future. Nightcrawler doesn't die in X2 or 3. Nope. I remember. And hopefully, Cyclops will be in this movie. Even, even if it's just young Cyclops. Yeah, just in general. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. What's his name? Brian Singer? Is that who's doing these movies? Is Brian Singer doing it still? I know he's the, the originals. Did, yeah, okay. So oh, so he's doing okay. the originals. It's the guy who did one these? and two. Okay. So, and he said he's going to be nullifying three in this. Good. Well, he, he didn't really. I don't. He didn't really want to do what he did in that one. Like yeah. they, the the studio kind of put his back against well, the no, wall. Well, no, someone like, else did you... three. Oh, did somebody he did, else? He do only three? did one and two. Mm-hmm. Someone okay. else did three, and he said he hated. three. Oh, that's kind of. I think that's what happened to Sam Raimi with Spider-Man Three. Was yeah, they he didn't kinda, want to do they it. Kinda they kind of forced. They kind of forced him. He did not right. want to do Venom at all whatsoever. Ugh. And they were like, "Well, you have to." That movie right. doesn't exist. Let's talk about nullifying movies. That one's. <laughs> it's just not real. It didn't happen. Doesn't exist. Spider-Man Three. What? But what? Be cool if they there's, made a Spider-Man a Three. I'd like that. What? Third movie would be great. I like Topher Grace. Just not as Eddie Brock. Yeah, not they as Eddie Brock at all. Like a WWE star. It should have been Brock. Triple H. Oh man, Triple H. King yeah, it's the babysitter, Eddie Brock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's all about the game. All about the Speaking game. Speaking of games, Xbox 720, or well, Xbox One, Xbox sorry. 720. <laughs> 720. X- Xbox One, sorry. And PS4 <laughs> both had cool updates this week. Um, Xbox One's getting color-coded achievements. So with your uh, your gamer tag, whatever they're going to call it in this, you can have multiple games on or players on one console. If someone gets an achievement, you know who got it instead of going... Which which quadrant was that in? Yeah, like, I don't yeah. remember that. Well, that would be a huge. That's a huge help. Color coordination is always easy to tell, unless you're colorblind. Unless you're colorblind, <laughs> we, have, we have a friend. Well, so. it should like. No, then you're just calling th- about you. Th- yeah, but you it's, have not, to hope it's for not like he's a dog. Like he'll, he'll be able to. See, it's not like they're going to be gray. Like he'll, yeah, yeah, you yeah, see, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you yeah, see, he, he can't, can't see, see shades. He can't see blue or yeah. green. Or it is hilarious. Or, you know, one of those colors, <laughs> especially because he gets real mad when you talk about it. Oh my god, yeah, that's funny. And uh, PlayStation Four uh, announced they're getting eight-person party chat, which I can't remember if there was any party chat or if it was just in game chat for PS3. It was just in game, but it's. Kind of stupid that that's an announcement this week. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, it, it shouldn't even be it an be announcement. Yeah, it should just be three. something that's going to happen. It should just be available on a console. I mean, yeah, it's console. It's made for multiplayer gaming and friends. So it's like, 
Yeah. Oh, I can only talk to you if you're in the same game as me. Oh, you don't have this game? Yeah, they didn't. I know they didn't have cross game chat. Yeah, I don't know if they've recently did that. I, I don't know. I sold my PlayStation a lot. <laughs> yeah, I only play Last of Us multiplayer on PS3. I don't yeah, talk I to anybody. Buy a PS3 because no one else has a PS3. So. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play Last of Us. That's all I want to do. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. From what I hear. Uh, so upcoming, we have um, Doctor Who 50th Anniversary yep. 3D in theaters. It's, That's gonna be awesome. It's um, gonna be two days after the launch, after the worldwide release. Are you guys gonna see it? Are you guys gonna I, watch it on Sunday? Or I want to watch it, but I do want to just kind of surprise myself for the 3D. See, so. I feel I feel like it's gonna be good in 3D no matter what. True, but I mean, can you watch things multiple times? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, it is Doctor Who. Can I, mean, I, watch I watch things multiple I watch times? I twice. watch Darkness Falls like every night this past week. <laughs> I can watch things Mike, over. Well, for me, I can't watch <laughs> TV episodes multiple times unless it's going back to like original stuff. I can yeah. see like watching this episode because you know it comes out two days earlier, and yeah. then you're seeing it again. I can understand why. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm probably gonna wait. Yeah, but I'm big on Reddit and Tumblr and always on it all the time. So, so I know it's gonna get spoiled right away. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna. Look I think for I'm gonna try to wait. I'm not gonna try to avoid spoilers. But yeah. I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to avoid them, but I if I can, I will. <laughs> But, yeah, so we're going to try to get tickets to that, according to some sources. Uh, big cities, mainly, are selling out, like are already sold out. Fast. People had to wait. People got up at, like, 6 a.m. to just buy tickets, and they were already sold out by, like, 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Jordan's Furniture and Natick shouldn't be, like, sold out. Is that where it's going to... No, where no we're going to West Springfield. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. they're doing it in... They're doing it at West oh, okay. Springfield. Yeah. Oh, because it's not IMAX. It's no, just... It's just no, it's but just they didn't update anything until the tickets officially came out. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we were looking at it beforehand, and we were looking at an hour and a half drive. Yeah. Which we were going to go do. Yeah. But then... Oh, that'd be cool. When tickets do. were officially available, they're like, oh, hey, there's one down the street. Oh, cool. Yeah, we got good. So that won't sell out, but we're going to get that. Yeah. I don't know how many people in West Springfield are like, who? Doctor who? Yeah. But True. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. True. Yep. And then, also next week, we're going to a Mystery Science Theater 3000 live. That's uh, going to be fun. Riffing. With original cast. Live oh, with original it's gonna cast. So it's going to be real awesome. Because oh, we're big fans of that. Yep. And they're going to be doing, I'm pretty sure it's a Halloween episode. Yeah. That's going to be mean, great. They haven't said what movie it is. Yeah. I used to watch that all the time on Sci Fi, and it was just like. Mm-hmm the the funniest thing ever like yeah. absolutely like the stupidest possible things do, that you... do you have a favorite one? Oh, god there's so they're all, all of them are good Dude, manos in the hands of fate if you haven't seen that one watch the one it. that they did for godzilla was awesome which godzilla <laughs> Oh god, I don't even remember. I know that they've done a couple of them they for did godzilla. the gamera one which is awesome the Gam- that gamera one was good. probably one of my favorites <laughs> well they do like did they do like two or three of the Godzilla ones. I think they did a few. Yeah, I want to say three. But those are always good, just because like I mean, you the, like the any, value there anybody there, can, yeah. anybody can tell jokes about that. Yeah, I mean we could sit around and do this and it'd be mm-hmm. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to watch it and like when it was on HBO or Showtime or something. Yeah. And I would hate the movie that they were playing, but I would just continue to watch it because oh, of the yeah. jokes. Oh, like, yeah. Because they're hilarious. Were, there were so many times, like, I had no idea what the movie was, yeah. and it was just absolutely, like, so ridiculous, all the jokes that they would tell that I would just get sucked in and I'd end up watching the whole Yeah. Time. Oh, yeah. A Touch of Satan was a really good one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there, there's some on Netflix, so if you don't know what we're talking about, yes. Netflix, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Hilarious. You won't awesome. regret it. You will you love it. it. You're welcome. <laughs> I even I think the main reason I would watch it as a little kid or younger yeah. was because in between the movies, yeah, the, skits. the puppets, yeah, the skits, the skits and the puppets. <laughs> so so good. Give me puppets and anything, and I'll watch it. I love puppets, marionettes, oh. anything like that. I do like puppets, except for the fucking uh, HP or not HP Lovecraft uh, HR Puffin stuff. Puppets. Are you fucking kidding, dude? They're creepy as shit. I have the DVD. Nope. I have the DVD. I have the I, one. Yeah, right here, buddy. I get, I Marty I get DVD. fucking, I yeah. fucking Sigmund creeped the sea out. Monster. Can't the fucking, do it. Yeah. Sigmund the Sea Monster. Can't deal with it. The flute that he wanted to play, but it was still alive while he was playing, so he's like giving it a blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was the best thing ever. That yeah. and the Pee Wee Herman puppets. Dude. Oh, I the Pee Wee Herman puppets were great. I have great. the box set of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Every episode, How please. do you have it? I, I have it too. I have really? It's my dad. Oh yeah, okay. My dad, I went out and bought them all. Dude, my dad was ra- like raised during Sid and Marty Croft, so that's why we have those DVDs. And oh, so like, creepy. those were his favorite shows. Everything was a fucking puppet net. There was a puppet named Flory. 
And guess what it was? It was a section of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it just came up and it was like, I love retarded. Cherry. <laughs> Cherry was awesome. Cherry was the best. And there was still like one, like a couple other live action ones, like Jombie, Head in a Box. Just a Head in a Box. Just a Head in a yeah, Box. A green screen Head in a Box. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman was where it's at, dude. Dude, Pee Wee Herman getting caught yeah. in a movie theater. <laughs> yeah. I used, I used but to get a. Uh... They're coming out with that movie. Well, he's, I think they're working on it, which is going to wrap up the entire series. Really? Yeah. So it's going to be a movie about the wrap up of the Pee Wee Herman series. Pee Wee's Big Top Adventure, uh, the scene, the, <laughs> large, the large, like really large, scary large. scene, the large march scene. Was it that? Was yeah, it the that? Trucker one? I just remember. Oh no, the, it was the truck. Yeah, it was the trucker the one. The trucker one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to get fucking freaked out because it was the claymation face. Oh, that so weird. Didn't like it. Did and then, not he, like then it. he ends up in the dark. And he turns the light on. Just a bunch of animals behind. Yeah, yeah. weird. <laughs> With all the cartoon eyes. Yeah. Oh, so great. Tell him large march sake. Yeah. Large Marsh. She's been dead for ten years. <laughs> Do you dream, Piggy? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I'm getting chased by a snake in a green vest. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Start pumping oh. stuff. What's yeah, next? Oh, you know what else I have on DVD too? What's up? Dinosaurs. Oh yeah. Oh, so it. good. I'm the, the baby. Food. Gotta love me. Those are all on Netflix now too. Yeah. yeah. Which uh, can we talk real quick about Netflix and how? Awesome. Uh, <laughs> The anime, like half the anime that I've been watching on Netflix, As is now least. gone. <laughs> yep, all gone. Yep. Crunchy if you <laughs> if you've been following anime on Netflix at all, like uh, if there were some that you've been watching, what were you watching? Uh, I was watching Rosario Vampire. No, you were you were watching Black Butler. I yeah, wasn't. Black, Black Butler's Butler. still on there. You're watching. It, have not watched Black, Black Butler and Host Club. That's what you're watching. Oh watch yeah, that. you're definitely <laughs> watching uh, Black Butler and Host Club. And Swim or Free. You're watching Free. He's watching Which one? Free. Show bits. Free? I'm not so watching Chobits. Second Ray. I started watching Second Ray uh, for like a half an hour. Like I watched like one of the first episodes the other night. Uh, that way too weird for me. I can't can't get into That's it. Let's to watch Watermo. Oh god, that show's so <laughs> good. Uh, the intro music is literally Dude, it's so good. Dude, seriously my favorite intro song now. After Attack on Titan. And Elfin Lade's yeah. gone too. That is gone too. Elfin and Lade that really gone. pissed me there's off probably, because uh, you showed me like, like the first the something. first episode just skip, first, is awesome. First two episodes we watched. Yeah. yeah. Apart. Literally oh, just everyone. so good. Yeah. And like the first uh, we watched the first two episodes together when he showed it to me and then I was like, "Oh, I'm really in the mood to watch anime and I wanted to just like powerhouse through like a couple episodes just like, get a crunchy roll bed. like the trial see how you like it that's what i'm gonna have that's what i'm gonna have to do because there's man. a lot of stuff kill a kill. Kill, uh, kill i realized it's every thursday they update it is that what it is every thursday at two o'clock they do a live stream of it and then they play it yep so this new episode was great want to check that out <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then did i send you that the screenshot with uh-huh. uh there's a part in the new Kill a Kill episode where they're like in a truck just driving down the city and it's going super fast. Yeah. And if you freeze frame it, they have a bunch of people on the sidelines. And it's, um, I forget their names. Samuel Jackson and uh, John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. It's their really? It's in Pulp Fiction after they shot, uh, was it Martin? Uh, or whatever, the guy in the, the, the car that in the hit back the bump. Seat? Yeah. yeah. And so after they, they get new clothes, so they're in their like sweatpants and oh, stuff. Oh, they're in like the, and it's the them. short shorts and yeah. everything? Yeah, it's them standing outside the road as the truck's going by like 100 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, I'll, so I'll get the screenshot of it. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I'll yeah. the screenshot. It's yeah. pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. That's such a good movie, though. Pulp yeah, Fiction. absolutely. Uh, what do we got next? Pulp Fiction. Uh, uh, next topic. Uh, GTA malware. GTA 5. Uh, yeah, so if you're really not good with computers like I am, uh, be really careful if you happen to hear from anybody like, hey, GTA 5 is floating around on the internet because it's not a real thing <laughs> at all. Enjoy malware, like yeah. all yeah. over your computer. So there's going around, there's a torrent going around right now that's GTA 5 PC edition. 18 gigs. 18 <laughs> gigs for an EXE file. If you know anything about computers, that's fucking outrageous. That's bizarre. Not yeah. to mention, if you play the Xbox version, you know you had to install 8 gigs. Yeah. 8 gigs. On well, they also have the disc. What's that was, disc too? That was oh. the only disc, though. That was your play disc. You used to oh, install yeah, disc and it. all that. But it was an 8 gig game. Yeah. yeah. So, it's 18 gigs of malware. <laughs> yes. You download it, install it. <laughs> you just installed 18 gigs of malware. And then, to get it to run, you would run it. And then it would ask for a CD key, and to get the CD key, it would bring you to survey websites that did you had to just keep filling out surveys. And people would still be posting on the torrent sites, being like, "Hey, did anybody get this to work? I filled out so many surveys." Blah blah blah. Yeah, and like, meanwhile, Your you're filling sucks. out all this shit. Like yeah. you're just like, I just want to play GTA. 
Yes. But it's when a quick ha- Google search will tell you that they haven't even announced it for PC. Yeah, that's the so. other thing. The game hasn't even been announced for PC by Rockstar. So why would there be a torrent of it? Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. You heard it here, not first. <laughs> not but here. You, heard, you, heard, you heard it last. here. You heard it here last. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it here first. And if you didn't hear it here first, you heard it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least you heard it, you know. So if you're seeing this, just don't. Just don't fuck with it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. You don't want to be part of that. Don't do torrents. Yep. And on topics of games, there's a new magic set, right? Isn't there that? Yes, there is. New uh, EDH Commander box set, or not box set, but pre-con boxes are coming out uh, this Friday, November 1st. Uh, There's going to be all new generals. It's like all three-color stuff. We've got Esper, Bant, uh, Jund um grixis, grixis and, and naya. naya like they're all really cool the the grixis and the uh the esper are definitely the coolest like so far um th- like one of them comes with like shroom uh in it like already shrooms. who's shrooms. already <laughs> comes with shrooms yep uh Sounds but like no, he's game. he's already like a sweet general anyway so like the fact that they just put him into into the deck is great yeah um and there's a bunch of other cards that are going to be like that are super expensive cards that are going to be in those decks and then there's a bunch of like edh staples like you'll get soul rings command towers which go for like 10 bucks each anyway well yeah yeah like the you like you pay ten dollars for a soul ring or a command tower anyway so like to pay thirty dollars for those two staple cards plus a bunch of other ones too um plus there's gonna be like they have like the bounce lands in it and things like that so um those are gonna be at like target uh walmart they're gonna be at like whatever (laughs) shop you go to um which which uh if you're going to a shop to get them be ready to pay like varying prices for certain ones because shops uh, no prices of cards (laughs) the card that i uh, there's a card that's escaping me right now that i can't remember what it is um but we'll insert picture here um <laughs> the, uh, oh, will we? <laughs> we will uh we have to um i know that that card goes for like 20 or 25 bucks anyway so you figure that's a shop's gonna that's have. gonna be a shop's gonna know so they're gonna charge way more for that right off the bat so, so. don't support your local shop is what you're well, saying well support your local shop but just don't buy like 30 <laughs> buy like don't buy like 30 copies of each deck at your shop because you're gonna end up spending a ton of money if you want to get several of them to like break them apart and maybe use some of the cards for modern or use some of the cards for just like building other edh decks you're better off to just go to walmart or target or anywhere that's gonna like be an authorized retailer that way you can get those at the 29.99 uh price point msrp so that way you don't have to shell out a bunch of money that you don't need to so now are these going to be like are these pre-made deck yeah they're all just they're all just pre-made yeah you can go to on the site i like to go to is dailymtg.com you can see they're doing like uh like a full-on thing about it you can read about all the all the decks and see the full deck list and take a look at them see which ones you really like which ones you're going to want to play i mean they're all really really good um are they yeah what i'm saying is are they viable like some of that oh, like yeah absolutely, yeah, they're, absolutely. I don't invest in the magic i don't play magic they're definitely it's not like you know, are like, you buying three or four of them and then making a hybrid deck or you are could. you well you could like I if mean, i went to the store bought one you could play you could deck, you could open it you can open it up you'd be able to have a great time with it um you'd be able to sit down with people who have who probably still have more advanced decks and still have a good time playing okay, right. so you're not gonna get um, smashed on it, yeah no, no no you're definitely not you're definitely not like investing any money in something that's not worth it at all right and then it like edh is expensive as it is anyway so if like you can get in with like some of the staple cards like right off the bat and then like you know just add to it as you go yeah, yeah like yeah. you'll be able to make a really cool edh deck and it yeah. won't run you hundreds and hundreds of dollars it'll just run you hundreds of dollars <laughs> so but i mean you know all those dual it's lands. it's yeah all, all of the dual lands yeah it's definitely a good way to go it's going to be they're going to be super fun they look like they're going to be awesome like the, all the dynamics for the decks like how they're put together look really great and uh the, all the there's five new generals for each of the box sets so uh they're they're generals we haven't seen yet they're all three color which people have been wanting is more three color generals and they're they all look like they do super fun things and we're going to be able to take other cards and make them do fun shit for days and days and days so it's gonna be cool yeah so 
Um, but that's pretty much it, I think. Like, uh, that, yep. do, that does it for everything we found out about. Yeah, all the cool stuff. Yeah. Um, we're going to have new videos coming up. We're going to be doing a new segment called Friend Enders, where we get a bunch of our friends together. We play video games or tabletop games, and we basically just try to end our friendships, and uh, yep. then we can just finally get into that uh, niche of seclusion in our own homes, which we... <laughs> just yeah. slightly participate in already so uh, yeah the first series that we're going to start doing is all the Mario Party games starting from 1 N64 1 N64 1 uh, yeah. if we get if we get past if we get past the first one well we got uh, we'll I have 1 and happens. 2 so okay well, we'll if we get, get past two. if we get past 2 we'll see what happens <laughs> but it, we'll I, see how many people decide yeah. to actually show up for the second one <laughs> I know us personally and our friend they're having on come on rage real hard when things don't go our way yeah <laughs> and we all go on rants i know i personally go on rants about stuff and yep <laughs> so we're gonna be playing to win and trying to end our friendships i mean well mario party's a game that ends friendships yeah anyways we have to have like high stakes though. yeah we have, to have, you have to have something yeah there like, has to be something for the loser and something for the winner something has to happen to the loser yeah yeah which we'll, we'll figure do, something do out we'll, we'll give like, bragging rights to the winner yeah so we have walk Mario. around your balls out in the mall or something like that <laughs> oh no yeah because that's how we end up on a sex offender list <laughs> well Thanks, Kyle. Man, just don't get caught <laughs> so we have the mario party games that we're gonna do um we're also gonna do probably mario kart uh, oh, yeah. Do some Super Absolutely. Smash stuff, <laughs> but we can't have any of our good friends play. Some no, Smash. no, our friends that are good at. Super so Smash. like you're yeah. gonna get kicked out. <laughs> Please, I just get 25 smashes as Peach. That's all. Yeah, you just there's just gonna be some characters you're not allowed to play as. That's all. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna limit your players that. to random. <laughs> to random, yeah. I mean, all random. You all can random only random. use Bob, or no, not Rob. Bob. Rob. <laughs> oh my um, god. We're also gonna do some tabletop games. Yep. Uh, you, you Be doing cards against do humanity. Some, yeah, we'll definitely do cards against humanity with a whole bunch of people. Yeah. Um, Maybe we'll get some drinking involved in that. See what definitely <laughs> drinking cards against humanity. Um, I also have a card game called Story Wars, which I still haven't opened out of the box, but it's supposed to be real good. But Epic Spell Wars. Epic Spell Epic Wars, Spell definitely. Wars. Probably do like an EDH big multiplayer game and we'll, you know, we'll get some people in who haven't played Magic before and we'll... I'll probably see how they, of yeah, we'll yeah. See, I know basic see magic. how uh, certain people aren't gonna be allowed to play because it ends up being not fun with them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, and then we got some more killer collectibles coming up. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We have. Um, I got a nerd block in. Alan uh, got a loot crate in. We're, we're gonna talk about October oh. nerd block and October loot crate. Yep. We're uh, <laughs> we're just kind of going all over the place. Um, we're going to talk about like uh, some new collectibles that are exclusives. Um, I picked up a couple cool ones this week, so we'll show you those. Um, we're gonna do some blind boxes, uh, but I think that's it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Anything I mean, else I think we've we wanna... touched all the bases. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, a good. Uh, I do like to touch bases. A good hour shorter than the first yeah. one. Yeah. Yep. Well, a good. Uh... Yeah. About yeah. an hour Very shorter, good. yeah. About an hour shorter. So uh, Very good. awesome. Cool. So uh if you're uh if you're you know not doing anything, you know, you're you're already here, you know, just click the little like button, you know. Subscribe to the channel even, you know, like I said last week, you're already here, so you might as well do it anyway. We have a Twitter uh, at uh, at Nerd Dojo Podcast. Uh, we also have a Facebook. Also Facebook. have Facebook, it's just Facebook. Nerd Dojo. Nerd Dojo yep. on Facebook. Yep. Which and, you can uh, get there from the Twitter if you don't know the link for nerd dojo you can't find us on facebook go to the twitter link yeah it. because if you don't follow us on twitter then you don't get you're any- not gonna get yeah. anything you're not gonna know I'm, anything you're not gonna get anything we're gonna have a website have a at some point YouTube. but that's not gonna do you any good unless you follow us on twitter <laughs> right <laughs> i have a link in the youtube the yeah we're gonna link yeah. to facebook and the twitter and youtube so uh thank you for watching i'm kyle aganza i'm justin kirkland i'm alan whitaker have a good one yep So let's do it for one minute so we can be at a, like an even number. Okay, I'll, we'll wait. Let me fucking blast out some blast. fucking... You got fucking 12 seconds. Oh. You're not going to make it. You're never not going to make, gonna make it. it. It's recording all this. I'm an FBI agent. agent. <laughs>